For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I want to show you how you can decode infrared remote signals in CircuitPython. So what I have here, here's a Pi portal and a breakout that is an IR receiver breakout. This is expecting 38 kilohertz carrier signal infrared, which is conveniently what pretty much every remote you run into in daily life uses. Uh, you can see here I have a infrared receiving candle. It's a, it's a fake candle. And when I press the on button on this little remote, it lights up. When I press off, it turns off. And you'll notice as I'm sending signals, they are being read by my little infrared receiver and they are showing up their codes right there on the screen. So the way this works in CircuitPython, we have Pulse IO, which is a library that can listen to those very, very, very fast pulses coming in. And then we have the Adafruit IR remote library, which has a bunch of convenient functions that make things like decoding and emitting IR really easy. So if we scroll down a little bit, you'll see I am setting up my IR receiver object with Pulse IO on the available pin. I'm expecting a maximum length of 120 pulses, which is uh, enough to cover most standards of remotes. Uh, and this is sort of like the pull state. Then I'm setting up a decoder object using Adafruit IR remote and a generic decode. So the function here, decode IR signals, uses the uh, decoder decode bits method and it returns a code. In my main loop, we create a variable called pulses, which is the decoder read pulses based on that IR receiver. And then we take that received code and I'm gonna print that out and also store it as a hex value. So you can see in my REPL down here at the bottom, I'll grab a different remote entirely. If I start pressing buttons on there, I'm getting a length of pulses. And then here are the pulses themselves. So we have some PWMs essentially. How long does the pulse last? And that is how the different buttons are encoded is through different series of these 67 codes running different lengths of high or low. And then we can also turn that into this hex code just to make it a little easier to store, which is how I'm able to do stuff like use this remote where I've prepared some lookup tables so that it knows the names of the things that I'm pressing and shows them up there. And so that is how you can use the IR remote library decode to decode infrared remote signals. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec.